I'm back. Where have I been? What have I been up to? I can't even tell you, man. I've been so busy the past six months. And you know, I've kind of gone off my own sayings and stuff that I kind of preached that I wasn't consistent with YouTube and I understand it. But I am back. I don't even know when's the last time I spoke to you guys. Was it in Japan or was it in Doha? It was one of the two. I don't even know, guys. But currently, you might be looking at this room thinking, where's this guy? Has he got a new crib? Why is he in another country? Where's he at? So I'm currently in Tenerife. I'm at the Ritz Carlton. So we're here. I'm going to show you guys the room tour. I'm going to show you the hotel. Going to go over some wisdom with you guys in today's vlog and just see how it goes, man. Pick up the camera again and get back on it because I do miss it. I really did enjoy recording the videos when I traveled and I will be traveling a lot soon again. So I thought, let's get the camera. And I've also got a new set of gear so you can even see look, the camera follows me, which is wicked. So I've kind of propped it up on top of the mini fridge and I'll show you guys. Actually, let me show you now. Oh, bear with me. So it follows my face, which is wicked. Um, but yeah, let's twist it around. So yeah, we got it on top of the fridge. Uh, well, the mini bar, and then we've obviously got everything else. But yeah, man, this is the hotel room. So I'm going to give you a proper tour. But yeah, man, it's good to be fucking back, guys. Boom. Welcome to Mikasa. It's massive. So we got upgraded. So following the stuff that, you know, I teach and preach in Credit Club 2.0. You know, there's myself with the Osmo Pocket 3. We're able to get this room upgraded to, you know, one of their junior suites. So you got a little wardrobe area here. You got the bathroom here. You got shower, toilet, and you also have a bath here. If I can show you, boom. As you can see, massive, massive living room area, guys, man. Comfy bed, I can't lie. I slept goddamn good on that bed. You got a little like sitting area. And you got the TV. I don't know what this flickering is and how I can get rid of it. If any of you guys know how I can get rid of this flickering that you just saw, let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. And then you got obviously the mini fridge where I propped the camera up at the beginning. And you got a little just sitting area. But this is the part that's wicked and this is where I've been chilling the most. I've been doing my work on my laptop. As you can see, my laptop's there. Um, and this is my balcony. And what's even better than the balcony is the view on the goddamn balcony. Look at that absolutely beautiful man it's the type of shit we work hard for you know grateful to be able to do all of this guys and you know grateful to be able to show you guys this as well so you know it's all the hard work we put in pays off and i always say to people the more hard work you put in the more you can play hard simple as that and i don't get people that save 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 you know me i love spending and i love enjoying life but i goddamn work like a fucking fool so yeah man i'm uh keep you guys in tune on my little trip here i've got the camera out I'm gonna get back into the vlogging, whether it's, you know, talks, whether it's me showing you my adventures and where I'm at. But yeah, man, and you know, the work doesn't stop. Like I always say, the past six months that I've not been uploading, I've been working. I've scaled so much higher, earning, you know, six figures a month now. So I could call myself a six figure a month business owner. Um, so yeah, man, we're killing it. And you know, still to this day, me and this laptop, you know, love hate relationship, but we get the job done and we get to do it in nice locations like this. So. You know, I mean, I can't really be moaning with the work if it's paying me off like this. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. We're going to do a little sit down and talk as well. But what I'm going to do now is get changed, go to the swimming pool and see what that shit looks like because I've actually not seen what it looks like yet. All right, so I want to talk about, you know, where I've been and what I've been up to. Like, I'm going to go try to show you guys some of the hotel now. But I want to also talk about, you know, what my life's been up to, you know, why I didn't post because you know, I'm always on about, you know, you need to be consistent and yeah, that's true. You still need to be consistent, but you know, it also shows that I'm human. So I make mistakes. So yeah, I'm not this perfect individual, but you know, still working and grinding to the right position that I need to be at. Now, the other reason is because I had kind of a little bit of reasoning behind why I wasn't posting and it's not me making excuses, but it was more of a thing of when I got back from Doha, cause obviously when I was traveling in Thailand, Vietnam, Korea, Japan, Doha, I had all that free time in the world to do it and I wasn't really focused on scaling anything or any businesses or whatnot. Now, when I got back in the UK, it was one of those things where it was like, I need to start focusing on scaling. So I started hiring, started getting a lot of new team members and I was like, I need to put my mind and effort into this if I want to expand and scale the business, which I always say, you've got to put your all into one thing. You can't balance stuff. There's no such thing as balance, it's bullshit. So, you know, I did that and you know, God willingly, you know, everything went well, the business is doing well now, which is why, 
you've got me now picking up the camera but where I'm at right now this is called the Persian Garden for those that don't know I am Iranian so I'm Persian whatever you want to call it so you know this kind of hits home looks pretty nice and you know the view is booming so this is the view from you know the Persian Garden so I don't know if you guys can see it as well as I can but I think you should it looks banging. It is really, really, really beautiful. It's a very nice resort and yeah, this is the garden. But yeah, as I was saying though, it's like one of those things where you can't expect to, you know, juggle three, four different things. And if anyone ever tells you that, you know, you can go through life balancing and then there's, there's this whole Zen thing that you can balance your whole life, they're lying to you or they're not really about what they're talking about. And I'm saying that from pure you know my experiences because I wasn't able to you know balance stuff and I've tried to balance stuff in my life previously and it just doesn't work that's why you know the goal is to focus and set out one thing to do at a time uh, can we use the pool oh are you do you know if we can use do you know if we can use the pool or no ah uh, the pool is closed so the pool is closed you want to tell the people the pool's closed ah uh, guys it's closed unfortunately thank you but yeah so the pool's closed but um yeah, as I was saying, you know, it's one of those things where you have to kind of harness all your energy and all your time into one thing. And if you do that, you're able to, you know, expand and grow. Because if you're putting half-heartedness into it, there's no such thing as balance. And if you do that, you're going to always be average and average is, you know, boring. Yeah, that's why I don't believe in balance and I don't believe in, you know, being on one end of the spectrum. And I made a whole video on this. If you've not watched it, go check it out. It's somewhere on the channel. But like I always say, you either want to be on either end of the spectrum. You do not want to be, you know, at the middle of the spectrum because the person in the middle has the most to lose compared to, you know, the guy that's, you know, poor as hell or the guy that's rich as hell. You know, the guy in the middle, you know, if he messes up, will lose his job, will end up not doing well in life. So it's just one of those things where you have to put yourself on either end of the spectrum because you've got that fuck off energy about you. You've got that energy where it's like, shit you know if i lose my job i don't care because i'm already poor or you know if my business fails i don't give a fuck because i'll go again and i'll make a shit ton of money so it's always one of those things but let me just show you guys what it looks like we're outside now but yeah this is what i mean by it, it looks like a citadel it's like one of them old villages like the way they've built it is very very beautiful like i'm, I'm very very like you know surprised and you know amazed by what they've done here it's very very nice it's a very nice but yeah it looks banging i'm gonna see what we got on this side because to be fair with you I'm kind of viewing this with me at the same time because i've not really i've not really had a pretty good look at this yet but yeah it's beautiful but like i was saying before i go off on a tangent like i always do don't let anyone tell you you can't accomplish shit don't let anyone tell you that you need to balance your life Fuck that, no plan A, no plan B, sorry, no plan C's. Have plan A and fucking stick to it and grind it out. And best believe it will pay off. Like the best way to go about life is by having literally no cushions, nothing there to protect you. Because if you fall, you wanna whack your head off the concrete ground real hard and be like, damn, I learned my lesson, we go again. But yeah, man, don't let anyone tell you to, you know, do stuff that you don't wanna do. Do what you wanna do and go hard at it and you will always see results because like i always say anything is literally possible you just gotta put your mind to it but yeah let me show you this this looks beautiful as well it looks like i'm in some movie or some shit but yeah man oh yeah actually i did come here yesterday so i'm gonna show you the koi fish and you guys know me i do like my koi fish so but yeah look here we are Look at, um, they expect me to feed them, don't you? I got no food for you. Look at their mouths. Well, you want me to put my finger in their mouth? Let me not do that, I'll get kicked out. Then I'll be banned from the Ritz Carlton Resorts. But yeah, that's the last thing I want to do, get banned from here, so let's not do that. But yeah, man, let's keep on walking and see what else we got. But yeah, this is Mikasa for the next four days. Oh, I can see a pool. Oh, I didn't bring my swimming. Actually, I do have my swimming trunks with me. But yeah, man, this is this is the pool. And yeah, guys, like I said, please, you know, if you're continuing watching my vlogs and you know you're back and seeing where I'm at, please keep consistent. 
anything is possible. If I can ever tell anyone anything is that don't ever give up on your dreams and don't let anyone tell you you can't accomplish anything because you can do whatever the hell you want to do in this world. Anything is possible. Um, you just got to want it ba bad enough. Like I didn't come from anything special. Um, yeah, didn't come really from a single parent household, um, council flats and you know, now I'm around people that probably make a shit ton of money and maybe might have come from rich families but some might not have but it doesn't matter because if I can be here you know anyone can be here but yeah let me not get no children in though not trying to get fucking arrested in Tenerife for recording you know people but yeah let's have a look what's down here all right just a quick one I just wanted to show you guys what the pool's looking like uh, the weather's a lot better today man I'm literally chilling I literally just got some food as well but yeah just chilling getting a little bit of a relaxation and I say relaxation but I've been taking phone calls all day but what I am enjoying is a banging view plus I've just got my food ready so I'm gonna literally dive into that and get some food in me it's a little cheeky burger with a little bit of a drink um, but yeah man the pool is looking pooling the pool is looking pooling the pool is pooling that's better but yeah man just enjoying life man just to show you guys what it's looking like it's looking decent it's looking decent but yeah i'm gonna show you guys what else i do but yeah let me let me scoff my face in with this burger and i'll catch you guys later okay what's good guys so i just want to show you guys the beach it's obviously the rocky area but it looks amazing man it looks absolutely beautiful it was pretty wicked you know this is the rocky area and I'll show you the sandy bit in a bit. But yeah, man, this is all part of the resort. So you kind of get this with the resort. You get, you know, your own private beach, your own private little walking area, which, you know, makes it all worth the while. But yeah, man, let me show you guys. But I also wanted to talk about something this morning. I woke up and I was like, damn, let me get a camera out and start talking to people about this. And what I want to talk about is the factor of actually going out there and taking risks and taking opportunities. I was speaking to this one guy this morning because I'll still be doing my phone calls every single day with, you know, people that are interested in what I do and Credit Club. I was speaking to a guy and he was like, I've never taken an actual opportunity in life and I regret it. And he was telling me how two years ago he was given this crazy opportunity, expand his knowledge on something and be successful. And he never took it. And he was, he was talking about how much he regretted it. And he wouldn't have known what the outcome would have been if he joined, you know, whatever it was he wanted to do. So I always say to people, and if you know me, I always say, look, you're only in this world once. So take every opportunity that comes your way. Take every little, you know, risk that you possibly can, even if you fail, because failure is 100% better than regret. Failure is 1000% better than regret. But this is what the beach looks like. You can see there's loads of people on the beach, but you know, this is the resort's um, beach. It's also got this little gondola thing. I don't know if you can see what, whatever the hell you call it, elevator. But I'm going to try to get on it. So let's go. Let's go check it out. See if I can get on that elevator. Um, okay, we are here. Smoking though. It is smoking. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see that smoke. Oh no, it's from the grills. I'm being stupid. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Do you know what? It's pretty fast as well. I thought it'd be slower, but it does the job. Yeah. Let's have a look what's the mechanism looking like. Oh, it's yeah. the push and button. Uh, it's just a little button that you click. Yeah. Ah, right, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little video. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There we go. We're going. Yeah. Yeah, we got a good driver. A very good yeah. driver. But yeah, you can see the beach on the other side as well, which is wicked. She got there before you. What's behind on the... Hey, banana. Banana tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much banana. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. That was the gondola. 
elevator, whatever the hell you want to call it. But yeah, sketching out a little bit. You got a bit of golf carts here. And boom, you got a little bit of everything. And then you can see the beach at the bottom. Pretty wild, man. I do like this resort. It's a very nice resort. I'll definitely come back. My phone is going off. Who is calling me? No caller ID. We do not pick those up. Whoever this is calling me, do not call me on no caller ID because you will not get picked up. But yeah, man, pretty decent. Let me show you guys. Look, it's another little bit of the view. See the ocean, beach, whatever you want to call it. Looks crazy. You got a little boat there. But yeah, man, life is good. It's a good little relaxation trip, I'll say. I'm going to go see what I can find and show you guys, though. So bear with me. I don't know if you can see me well. It's a bit sunny, but yeah, let's see what I can show you. But I'm pretty far away from, not far away from the resort. It's like, we've got a little train. I don't think the train is anywhere near, so we shall see where we can go. But this is where I came for dinner yesterday though, I'll show you. So I didn't get to show you guys the food um, just because I was actually just trying to enjoy it and, you know, take it in. I'll try to put some photos in if I can, if not, but here, this is where I was eating. I got like a massive sea bass, which was caught like literally on the day. So, you know, that's a restaurant. It's called El, El something, El Mirador, some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, and this was the restaurant that I came yesterday. So let me show you. It's called El Mirador. Yeah, and you know, it's a pretty nice restaurant. I'm not gonna lie, you got loads of golf carts and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is the pool. I do not want to get anyone in it because I don't want them thinking I'm trying to record them, but the infinity pool does look banging. Wow. But yeah, let me show you. Look at that. You get to overlook the beach, which is pretty wild. But yeah, man, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some towels um, and I'm just gonna get on one of these sunbeds and just relax. Okay, guys, I had to show you this. I was sitting here and I was being a bit soppy. So I was looking at, you know, the view and it just looks absolutely beautiful. And it felt like a disjustice if I, if I didn't show you guys this view. But, you know, if you know me from Instagram, I don't wanna make this whole vlog about me being all like, oh, you go achieve your dreams. You can do whatever you want and I'll make it all cliche like what everyone says, but genuinely it's true. You can achieve whatever you want in this world. Whenever I'm at these nice locations and I see beautiful views like this, like all around me, it's just beautiful. And it's like, you know, I didn't come from much. If you know me on Instagram, I've got this one pin post where I talk about it. I used to sit, I had a bunk bed and the bottom of it was my desk. The, the top was my bed and the bed would literally be touching the ceiling. Like I had no space to like sit up. I had to just go to bed. And it was so hot and humid up there that what I used to do as a kid was, because I, I love traveling, I used to close my eyes and I think, damn, like I think of places like this. For me, it was Bora Bora. I'm not going to sit and lie. I always used to close my eyes. I used to watch videos of Bora Bora. Don't know why. Like it was just my go-to thing. Like, And I've never been Bora Bora and I still haven't been. So if you guys watched a vlog of me at Bora Bora one day in the future, best believe like my childhood dreams have come true because, you know, that was something I wanted to do. But I've kept Bora Bora as a special one because I don't want to go to it yet. I want to go to it, you know, when there's something significant going on in my life or I'm with, you know, whether it's a significant other. But what I'm trying to get at is that, you know, I used to close my eyes at the top of the bed and be like, damn, you know, I wish I, I can achieve it because we never came from anything. This, this seems impossible. You know, I brought my mom to a hotel like this and she loves it. And she's never stayed at a Ritz Carlton and she stayed here and she was like, damn, it's beautiful. You know, we, it, it wasn't expected from us to achieve something like this, but I was able to achieve it. So, you know, what I want you guys to take away from this, and I don't want to sound cliche like I've already said, I just want you to understand that genuinely anything is possible. If you put your mind to it, if you put your heart to it, and you actually grind it out, I promise you, you'll get whatever you want in this life. And that's genuinely coming from the heart because I was able to do it now. Either me saying this is bullshit and I'm one lucky bastard or it genuinely is possible. But I think it is like I genuinely think anyone can do this. You just got to have the heart, man. And you're going to want it, want it a little bit harder than the average Joe and you can pull it off. But yeah, man, I don't want to make it soppy. But yeah, man, it's beautiful, man. The view is banging. You know, I'm enjoying myself. Just got some food. I uh, got margarita pizza and a little salad. Um, and I've been chilling, man. I've been taking phone calls. I've been working. Um, but I'll show you guys the rest of the trip. I'm going to kind of make this whole vlog of, you know, my time in Tenerife at the Ritz Carlton and, you know, make that the vlog. So I don't know what you'll see next, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, what's good, guys? So I'm going to call the vlog here. It's my last night. Just chilling. As you can see, the background looks beautiful. And yeah, man, I just wanted to call this vlog here because 
I wanted to have like a proper outro where I could tell you guys what's going on with the future, what I'm going to do moving forward and you know life itself so goal is I'm going to start uploading on YouTube that's the most important thing so I'm going to be posting at least you know three times a month that's kind of my goal show you guys where I'm up to you know my adventures where I'm off to next what I'm doing in life so that I can maybe motivate you guys teach you guys some lessons and you know push you in the right direction in life because I feel like you know all you need is someone to tell you what to do and what not to do to push you in the right direction rather than in the wrong direction but yeah man I'm gonna call the vlog here but before I do I'm gonna show you what I've been up to so as you can see I've been having some food there's nothing really left and if you have a look over if you have a look over there you can see there's some live band playing music and you know nice little chill vibe nothing crazy you know just relaxing man before it's uh it's it's i like to call this i like to call this the calm before the storm because once i get in the uk i gotta deal with the team gotta make sure everything's good and get back to work and then i've got like probably six days in the uk before i'm out again so i need to make the most of it so it's going to be an absolute grind i'll try to get a vlog out whilst i'm in the uk i'm not going to promise it but if i can i will but on that note guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog I feel like, you know, it's a good little introduction of me back onto YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next video.